Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased technical analysis and today we had a gap in crap. Sorry bulls. Alright, so here's a couple things that we need to note. We had a gap up and Uncle Charles talked about yesterday how I had a 423 level. I'm going to add that to the chart right here. Um, a 423 level, so if you recall yesterday's video. We had this identify a 423 level, and I also identify a 425, I think it was 0.3-ish level, it's around there, okay? So as you can see, intraday, I'll go to a 15-minute chart, intraday, this is where the, it opened right here. We was able to break above 423, hit around, uh, we went as high as 424.94, so it didn't hit that 425.3, but it did give us a breakdown, like false breakout setup. And it also back to that back tested at 423 level as a resistant level, which goes with my back test and go strategy. Okay, so if you guys don't know about the back test and go strategy, please I have a video about it in the link in the description below. I, I go more in depth in it, but check it out. Okay, but overall for today, uh, a one directional day to the downside. All right, gap and crap. All right, so here's what happened. That I think is worth knowing. This white line right here, that is my 50% retracement level based on my FIB levels from January 2022 high down to June 2022 low. Okay. Intraday kind of broke out of it, you know, in pre-market and stuff, but broke back below it towards the end of the day. That's not very bullish. Okay, that's not very bullish price action. So it is up in the after hours right now. But for the setup for tomorrow. If 420 can be recaptured, that's bullish. All right, above 420 is a uh, is above my 50% retracement level. I would be bullish. And once again, 423, and we'll move this down to 425 now. Okay, because of today's price action. Okay, so 423 and 425 are the above price targets that I have. If spy can recapture 421. Okay, remember I uh, I just play it level to level. I long breakouts of resistance and I short breakdowns of support. You guys can see the strategy works pretty well. It's not 100%, but it works pretty well if you play it level to level. First candle here broke out 423. You know, this one came up short of my um of my target, but you know, a dollar dollar 50 over dollar 90 cent move, that's not bad. However, the bit the nice move was definitely this one when it broke down 423 and back tested it as a support. Okay, so the strategy can work. Uh, I think it has, you know, a high rate of winning, but it also depends on the trader, okay? A hammer in one person's hand is different in another person's hand, okay? So that's the setup for the upside, all right? Above 421, I'm bullish. As long as we're below 421, though, I have support around 420, which yesterday, August 10th, 420 served as a strong, uh, you know, supply zone. Which SPY did its best to try to break through and burn through. And today, it actually treated that level as a support. So definitely a switch up. That's the only bullish thing I would say about today's price action. Is that it was different from yesterday. Where 420 was resistant. Today, 420 was support. Okay, so if we lose 420, 418.5 is next. That's another critical level. Based on my 23.6 retracement level from March 2020 low. To January 2022 high. Okay, 418 fails. I'm thinking we go back down to 415. Although I do have a level around 417. You can see this orange line right here. You can see 417 has served as a resistant level and support level. Okay, but if 417 is lost, 415, and then below 415, I favor a gap fill around 412.5 ish. Okay, guys, so remember the strategy. We long breakouts of resistance we short breakdowns of support and of course we got to manage our risk and we manage it level to level if you don't feel comfortable playing it level to level you can always just scalp it most important thing is ending the day green okay guys moving on to triple q pretty you know it hit it hit a target we had a target up here at 329.6s as i mentioned yesterday but it closed below that that 325 support level, okay? Because I mentioned yesterday we cleared 325 that it has to hold as three as support, and we can go test 329.7 ish. 
we got to 330.36, all right? So it's pretty, you know, over you know, overshot it a bit, but that's fine. But most important thing is that it closed below 325. That's a false breakout setup, okay? So as long as we're below 325, I'm bearish on Triple Q due to the false breakout setup. Remember, it's not about predictions. It's about setups, and that's what I dedicate my channel to, setups for us to trade, okay? Only bullish if 325 is recaptured. 325 clears, look for calls. As long as below, 322.4-ish is my next support, and if that fails, look for puts. I'll be targeting 320, then a gap fill around 319, critical support around 315.5-ish, okay? Level to level, short the breakdown of support, long breakouts of resistance. All right, last but not least, here is Tesla, okay? I talked about yesterday how Tesla needs to recapture that 878 level and also recapture that 887 level, okay? Was able to gap up and open around 889.5, which was spent the, most, the whole day just dropping, took out the 887 level, then took out the 878 level and just dropped all the way down, hit the 858 support level, which is a very critical level, by the way, base on my 38.2 retracement level. Okay, so once again, Uncle Strategy worked well with the levels where we shorten breakdowns of support. All right, so to be bullish, I need to see at minimum Tesla recapture 878 and take out the 887 level. 858 is now support. If that support fails, look for puts targeting 842.5 ish and then possibly even lower down to 820 ish. Okay. Now, I do want to mention that there is, it's looking like this is a cup right here. Okay, this is looking like a cup. All right, and it looks like we are dealing with Tesla possibly forming a handle. All right, so if it's a handle, most likely it's going to be chopping. So we got to know the levels, know the setups, and just trade it, okay? I'm not bullish unless 878 and 887 can recapture. 858 is support. Keep in mind, according to trading view right here, got a split day, a day where Tesla's splitting three to, one, three to one, okay? That means if you have one share of Tesla, you, you're then going to have three on that day, August 25th. That may, that, that's going to let the price be cheaper, and that may attract some investors, all right? So we got a cup. Now, a handle look like seems to be forming. Let's see if that split day can be the catalyst for Tesla to go up. But as of right now, I'm going to play it level to level. I don't care about this split day. It's not here yet. Below 858, look for puts. Above 878 or above 887, look for calls. All right, guys. And we're going to finish this out with the flow sentiment. Here is SPY. Excuse me. Here is SPY. Filter for 500K premiums or above right there. 65% in a put. So puts are not that as heavy or, or big money is not as bearish as the previous days. Okay. Triple Q. 84% in the puts. So the technicals are showing Triple Q to be very bearish right now, in my opinion. And flow option is showing a lot of bearishness right now. And let's see Tesla. So 89% in the Tesla for puts. Okay, interesting. Because been it's been pretty bullish lately, but today very bearish. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you guys. If you guys need more content... Or want more content for Uncle Charters and be part of a very profitable and cool community, please consider joining my Discord. It would mean a lot to me. Other than that, have a great evening. Peace.